in today's video titled why we don't wear pants that is why ladies many ladies not all don't wear pants that is the title of today's video we are going to find out why so many ladies in our society nowadays does not go out with anything under they don't go out with any underwears. Why did they refuse to be wearing anything under? We shall find out in this exciting video. Just give me your attention after this intro. You are welcome back to this new and exciting YouTube channel. Please be the first to subscribe to it. Why not click like on our Facebook page? Let us know about your comments on our video. Please share this video and do not forget to ring the notification bell. Now, let's dive straight into our today's topic. You know, I, I was taken aback last week from a conversation I once had with a lady customer of mine who told me that at a point blank, he said, she said, Emma, see, make I tell you, you see all, most of uh, these our girls, when they walk up and down, when they shake their bum bum in there, when they throw their bum bum up and down as if it is going out of fashion, she said, I swear, she swore that many of them, she said that they know they wear anything under, they know they wear underwear at all. So to say I was shocked was an, you know, was, was an understatement. In fact, I was, you know, beaten by this kind of confession. Uh, yes, it's confession. It made me so much uncomfortable, considering the fact that the last time I checked, I, I have a daughter who is still growing up, and as it is, I am beginning to have a mixed feelings about her tomorrow concerning this very issue that is going on. So as, as it has turned out to be, I have begun to see a kind of future where some of these uh, daughters of Eve will be moving up and down, stuck naked in their, you know, sporting their natural body suits. They will be going naked. They, they know could they wear anything. They could they walk up and down on the street, even anywhere. So. This conversation I had, this conversation I had with uh, with that lady, has prompted me to start asking some pertinent questions. I started digging, only to find out this lady was absolutely right about what she told me. In my curiosity, or in my quest to be sure, I began reading some articles, you know, doing some researches, watching videos, as well as observing some of these uh, no underwear freedom fighters from a reasonable distance. You know, reading some physical signs from the streets and many other public spaces. So, in this part of Africa, Nigeria to be precise, the name given to ladies' briefs that is underwear is usually called pants. I know the Americans call their trousers pants too. Maybe this part of Africa, you know, they choose to name the underwear as pants. So, Sometimes I wonder where, I go, where we are going from here. Maybe age, <laughs> I don't know, because my no be small boy again. Maybe age has started, uh, you know, telling on me. Or maybe I'm no longer compatible with the current uh, realities of life. Or waiting day, maybe I know Sabi waiting day again. Or what time it is, not to have noticed that. Many young ladies of nowadays have stopped wearing underwears before leaving the house. I still wonder the kind of message they are sending out to the younger and upcoming, you know, generation of young girls. You know, these uh, small, small girls, we <laughs> we never know waiting there for this world. Do you know that it beats me all the time about how a grown-up young lady will decide to leave her house wearing some scanty dresses, you know, and many other fashion accessories, but willingly refuse to wear any underwear for
for reasons best known to her. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what in there for their mind though. I, 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 I cannot tell. Let me let me be factual about this for you. You know, back in those days, I know when almost all the young ladies would never get out of their houses without, you know, including a, a piece of a women wrapper or, or a big scarf inside their uh, outing handbags. Whenever they want to go out, they must make, they, they, if you size their bags, you must see at least one wrapper. This uh, native wrapper that women used to tie around. They put it inside their bag, you know, should in case, maybe to avoid if there's any case of a tear tear, maybe somewhere along the line, uh, you know, accidentally, if their clothes or dress gets torn somewhere, they will use it to cover it, you know, or just, you know, they use it for so many things. Sometimes even they use it to cover their fellow women that have some kind of uh, issues at some places. So that rapper used to do a lot of work. It works a lot for women. They use it for so many things. So back in those days, you know, <laughs> I knew it used to be very difficult. It used to be very difficult to see young ladies underwear. Where you go see them? It be chief. How manage? It be winch. How you go manage to see a young ladies, you know, uh, underwear or nakedness. Why go fish them? But these days, it is the ladies, the young ladies that will be harassing your, you know, you know. Let me call it your, in, let me call it your, your innocent eyes with almost serrated appearances. They would like to show up almost naked outside. They like to show what uh, what I don't know. They will display what I don't know. Maybe you know. I see you, you, maybe you do. Huh? Before you know it, maybe they will, they will start a, a rape case will, will take place. For some time now, the young women we know, they call themselves ladies. Just as the, as the legendary Afrobeat deity calls, calls them. Yeah, I think it was Fela. Fela? the Afrobeat king. He said that they call themselves lady. I should I think some of you should know about the song. So as a young man, woman or father watching this video, how would you feel if you see your fiance, wife, mother, sister, you know, uh, friends, relatives, or just anybody? The person who, just, who, who comes back home from the market or shopping or at least visitation only for you to hear that a piece of her or for you to see that a piece of her, her dress or clothes has torn somewhere, you know. Maybe it was torn by an accidental uh, 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 straight matter somewhere by the door or when she was about to enter a bus or kada. I, I, I don't know. You just noticed that the, the, the thing was showing, you know, some better part of her, some better part of her private area. You just see that, they, you see, everything don't tear, they see everything. You don't need to be told that uh, this is uh, her bum bum or whatever. This uh, private part. You'll be seeing everything. How would you feel? While knowing that she went out skimply dressed. That barely covered any private parts of her body. Before, yeah, by showing her nakedness. Because she chose to go out with anything underwear. She no agree with anything on that. So the question here is, you, as the boyfriend, the fiancé, the husband, the mother, the kiniko or whatever it is, it is, of such a careless lady, would you rather 
like to you know clap for her stupidity or oh, okay let me not call it stupidity please for her would you rather like to clap for her nakedness would you be happy i don't know i'm asking will you think that the image you are seeing before you looks funny just let's give this thing a second thought because a lot of things are happening in our society today let me not just go that side to the kind of skimpy dresses some of these ladies do go to some of these uh, they are come as you are judges you know this sharp sharp and fast and smart judges we have these days or ministries you will find out that some of these pastors also do enjoy it when these carefree and almost uh, naked young beautiful ladies with their naked laps you know strategically placed opposite uh, this so-called uh, god of men uh, sorry men of god <laughs> i don't know what to call them god of men or men of god <laughs> sorry i beg make on no verse now men of god you know just before you know it the pastor will start telling you about how Jonah swallowed the fish instead of the fish swallowing Jonah. <laughs> don't you know, don't you know, as a pastor under this kind of compromise influence, there is no way you could be able to hear from God. And chances are that can only be good at delivering, you know, only can have messages in your churches or your ministries. That is the kind of message you'll be delivering because you don't work out your mind. They go some place, you know, some places that is directly attacking your eyes. So some of these so-called ladies will end up making themselves a total societal nuisance in the quest for, I want to be free. I want to be free. It's my right to be free. It's my right to... Uh, do anyhow. I'm not saying that ladies' rights are not important. It's not what I'm saying. Don't misunderstand me. But to the extent of living yourself just like that, I mean, we all came out from somewhere. We all came out from some, you know, from families with elderly people there. You know? So, after making themselves uh, this a total societal nuisance in the quest for freedom, they will end up terrorizing the itchy eyes of some, you know, some of these randy men who are not even gentle by themselves. You know, these ladies will be dangling a pair of uh, what I don't know and a set of backsides. They are backsides, uh, like a set of backsides that can shake the fate of any uh, uh, strong believer. <laughs> so, I went to town with a fine tooth comb to find out. I started combing to find out some of the, you know, why the grievances of us or reasons the young lady stopped wearing underwears or pants. So I stumbled upon this video by Daddy Freeze. Imagine me saying, the last time I wore a pant okay. was when I was... You have finally kid. heard from the horse's mouth yes. in this video. was when I wore a pant. Then I saw a picture. They are Some say the reason I they stopped body wearing body pants or underwear is... Ah. They can see it went up. It's about discomfort body that suit, many of the them picture. complain that they don't like time themselves up like last. people living in bondage with all those yes. rubber, synthetic, all sorts of tie ties and unnatural fabrics. You know, yeah, some of those things that put them in a very, that some of those things do put them in a very stressful yeah. and uh, yeah. uncomfortable state. That's also, you know, second, let me put it this way. Secondly, that the, some of the, that some honey ladies have already made it clear that their own reason is that they are making it easier for their partners, that's their man or their men to penetrate their defenses easily without stress and that they are also keeping the place open and breezy so that the <laughs> so 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 that the, the the let me call it the plate washers will not meet any bad order while doing their plate washing chores. I, 
I know you'll understand where I'm coming from, and <laughs> where I'm about to go. <laughs> go to. Thirdly, that uh, you know, uh, 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 since the advent of all these uh, Yahoo Yahoo underwear uh, 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 hunters, I mean, those people they say they goes around stealing ladies' undies as if it is going out of fashion. You know them now. You've heard about them. There is this word in the street that it was the reason some ladies have decided to change their tactics by now, refusing to go out with any underwears. You know, they are scared of the Yahoo Yahoo guys who goes about combing their, for their pants. They don't want those stories that touch their hearts. So that was why they, some of them stopped wearing, putting on underwear. So, <laughs> since the proverbial bird uh, has stopped perching while flying, now the wise hunter has decided to continue shooting without stopping. <laughs> I hope you understand what, by what I mean. <laughs> eh? Some of them say that they need air. Many of the ladies complain that after time themselves, you know, after time themselves up with uh, so many things like pads, pants, tights, body gloves, tummy grips, uh, you know, body bands, skirts, trousers, uh, tummy trimmer, you know, so many things, etc. and etc. They say that they find it very difficult to move around less deeply you know they don't they, they, they are not free and that there is no way fresh air can find its way into that place if it's not kept open that is also turns their private area that is what they mean is that after tying themselves with all those uh, above mentioned things it will make it difficult for air to go directly inside that place thereby it will make it a breeding ground for all some of these uh, infections that are going around up and down like uh, there's one they call candida you know and others so tying yourself with uh, that kind of so many underwear as they say will cause a lot of infections because air it will not allow air to go there so they claim that they need air to be keeping it fresh without any offensive order some of them said that going out without any underwear has give them a sense of freedom and naturality that it is enough problem already wearing makeup bra pants eyelashes lipsticks tights cutters wigs you know necklaces earrings wearing this and that plating of hair creams perfumes uh, 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 tummy bands, nails, etc. You know, they said that all the above listed accessories they normally wear does not allow them to feel free or to breathe well. That many of them doesn't breathe well. So, I don't know what you yourself you feel about this. So, with all these reasons in this video, where do we go from here? Where do we take it from? I'm afraid to ask, is it justifiable with these reasons to support ladies not putting on underwears? It's a question that I'm asking. Will you be happy if your own person comes back home nearly and totally naked? Will you find it funny? Will it be good for you? So many of them confessed they do wear their underwears only once in a month when it's time to fly the Russian flags. I hope you know. That is the time they use, some of them used to kill some, kill cock. <laughs> you know? So finally, the idea of this video is not to judge or mock any body. It's not to laugh at any lady or whatever. Although it has shown me how time flies. It is even advising me that I need to step up a little bit because a lot of things are taking place this time around. So this video is all about how to have an understanding with all these uh, underwear <laughs> freedom fighters so, so that people will somehow learn to cover up, you know?
people should somehow learn to cover up one or two things in the ministry so as not to lead the Son of Man into temptation. <laughs> not to lead me or but the Son of Man into temptation. So please let me know in the comment section of this channel about what you think concerning this issue. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click like on my Facebook page. Ring the notification bell. Share, share, share this video. So let's meet in my next video. And do have a nice day. Bye bye. The boss will say, Kemesian. Bye bye.